So, let me get this straight. I added some people to the unit that you personally don't like. And that made you want to kill everyone! Yeah, dude, because Rainbow used to be awesome, like super badass, and then you fucking ruined it with wokeism. Wokeism? Th that's not even a word. Uh, no, dude, I listened to a podcast. A they were talking about how they added wokeism to Stop. the school Stop. curriculum. You're declaring war on a black book counter terrorist organization because two white dudes in a basement told you. <laughs> to yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You, you think it's because they're white. It's not that's because like they're white. Five minutes later. Anyway, I need to execute my super awesome anti woke master plan. Any last words? <clears throat> they're a fing idiot. <sighs> Could have at least waited for me to retire. Well, Silver Lion, you won't have to worry about the Night Haven thing anymore. Great. Now I'm clinically insane. The old age is finally... Boo! Well, that reaction was disappointing. Can we please agree to not make this a habit? <laughs> So, dudes, welcome back to another Operator How To. Sorry, this one's late. Today, I'm looking at Miss Steel Yo Cam, Brava, the gadget thief. Brava's gadget is up to two drones that can be used to steal defensive utility from the other team. And I mean anything and everything electronic. So, you better board up Radio Shack. Any kind of defender cameras, Malusi Wubs, Aruni Gates, even Jaeger ADSs. We'll talk about all of these interactions and more, as well as the gameplay loop for this three speed attacker designed around disrupting defensive gadget setups. Before we do that, I want to shout out this video's sponsor, The Ridge. The Ridge is a company dedicated to rethinking the way that we treat our everyday carry items like keys and wallets. You've seen a lot of ads for their wallets, but my favorite product by them right now is this key case. I've been unironically using a Ridge key case for a little while now. The design of these things is actually pretty freaking smart. So the way it works is that it comes with something like a flathead screwdriver. There's a big screw here, and there's a tension plate in the middle that keeps the keys together, and you loop the keys through the screw right there. You can fit it on your key ring just like any other set of keys. You can also get them in different colors to designate sets of keys. What a lot of people don't know is that in the backstory to the Mandalorian, Din Djarin actually carried his keys in a conventional key ring and then switched to a Ridge key case when he got his Naboo Starfighter. I'm obviously kidding, Disney please don't sue me. All of Ridge products are made with high quality materials that'll last you a lifetime, and these key cases in particular can hold up to six keys. So they're stylish, functional, and practical. Get up to 30% off your order when you purchase a key case and a wallet by going to my link in the description, ridge.com slash Gregor, and use the code Gregor at checkout. Thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Brava's unique gadget is the Kludge Drone. I had to look up what Kludge meant on the internet. Apparently it's synonymous with jury rigging, which I don't think jury rig drone really rolled off the ton as well. The Kludge will shoot three lasers that infect a gadget with the woke mind virus and basically make it play for your team instead. Aim at what you wish to infect with wokeism, hit mouse one, and if the drone stays alive during the animation, you have a new tool for the attacking team arsenal. The exceptions include electrifying gadgets like shock and boxes and shock and sticks. These will just blow up instead. You don't need to track the target or anything like a radar guided missile. You just click on the thing and you're good. If you shoot and miss it, it doesn't expend your ammunition but you have a HUD display indicating how many more gadgets you can steal, like I said, up to three. With two drones total, Brava can steal up to six gadgets. All in all, she has two gadget thieving drones, plus two regular drones. You'll be forgiven for making a comparison to Twitch. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Brava's a dedicated drone character, so you're gonna be spending a lot of time on your phone. She's a three speed to compensate, allowing her to keep up with the pace of your team's positioning throughout the round. To top it off, she has a pocket shotgun, as well as smokes and claymores. So you might notice some weaknesses in her kit therein. She can't do anything about deployable shields, for example. But what she doesn't have in direct bulletproof utility, like a Zof charge, she makes up for it with a ton of other useful interactions. She doesn't do the same job as Twitch, although there is a little bit of overlap. What specifically can Brava do? Well, she can gather and deny enemy intel at the same time, and she can make enemy gadgets useless without needing direct line of sight from an operator. What do I mean by this? While default cameras are a common target for Brava, they're easy to capture and provide a lot of potential value while denying the defending team intel as well. Good defaults to take are ones that have vision of multiple floors with lots of wide open space. Think map geometry like chalet fireplace. What if that person dies? Skill issue. 
bomb has been located. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying, man. Hunting. Someone get in my the hunting cam. Uh, hunting, 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 hunting. Is that a Rooney? Uh, yeah, peaking, on the hatch. Peaking, on the hatch. Hunting, on the hatch. Hunting. Peeking. On the right. Peeking. Five. Peeking. Nice. Dead. So, um, I think you have, uh, uh, in, Doc in hunting. Peeking green. Dead. Bye bomb, bomb, bye bomb. Roof, roof rotate. Four projector. Four. Conference. On four being crouched. Nice. 90 degree angle cameras like this one in border are also good choices. On bank, this camera by the elevators can be hacked by the air vent outside the building and you can hide the drone to keep it from getting shot. Brava is an excellent counter to Malusi. Conventionally, you'll need an explosive on an operator like Zophar Ash or someone with a gone sixth to deal with a Malusi wub here by the dining room hallway, which is typical for a dining room hold. You'll usually need a direct line of sight to deal with this Malusi wub and it leaves you very exposed. You need a lot of map control to get rid of it. With Brava, none of these issues come up. She can quickly send a drone around a corner, hack the Malusi, and render it useless for the other team. Yeah, it's cool to see someone run into their own Capkin trap, but just the fact that you force defenders to have to destroy their own utility means something in and of itself, even if it's not super flashy. Now, not all gadgets are created equal. Maestro can counter Brava a little bit more effectively provided he's paying attention on the cams. If the drone is destroyed before the hack is completed, you don't steal anything. On the flip side, Echo's Yokai is pretty much defenseless against Brava and Twitch's drone alike. Brava's value is higher though. In this exchange, you get to control the Yokai for yourself, whereas Twitch just destroys it. Keep in mind that the Yokai can be used to prevent defenders from disabling the diffuser. Jaeger ADSs and Wumai discs can be hacked as well, and yes, they will deny defender throwables like impact grenades and even C4. As far as traps are concerned, stuff like Legion and LM mines may occasionally mess with the enemy and give them unsuspected surprises. <laughs> Especially Elam mines, considering the large range that they have. One of your biggest counters is obviously Mozzie. Just like with Twitch drones, he can capture them and use them for himself. And once that happens, well, you can fill in the blank. Brava is great for maps with a lot of open sight lines where you can leverage the camera hacks. But for more linear and contained maps like Oregon, it's a bit more difficult uh, to justify. No. The drone is more liable to get shot by defenders. Just by the fact that there's less options for the drone to move around and it's an easier target. If the defenders catch wind of consistent Brava play, they might pivot to Mozzie and Solus. I've seen Solus quite frequently in competitive play, although I'm not sure if the same thing will carry over for ranked. If you really want to get the most out of Brava, it might not be a bad idea to ban Solus in your ranked stacks. If the enemy doesn't have a lot of bulletproof utility, it might just be worth it to bring a Twitch instead. Twitch can dispatch Capkin traps, stuff like Kyad sticks, Bandit batteries, etc., much more efficiently and instantaneously, whereas the Brava drone needs time to disable these things and can be shot during the timer. Like I said earlier, Brava is a three speed for a reason. She spends a lot of time on drone and needs it to keep up with her team sometimes. A lot like Capital, you can take advantage of this and her powerful weapons. The Para is a solid full auto primary. The Brazilian military loves their fouls, and you get another option of this derivative with the cameras. Feel free to use that as well. It does a ton of damage with two shot body shot frags a lot of the time. Unlike Buck's cameras though, Brava can put a foregrip or an angled grip on this. I took the liberty of comparing the foregripped cameras to the unforegripped cameras, as you can see here. Brav is an operator in the vein of a description I've used quite often, a dynamic playmaker. She can deny intel and gain intel at the same time. She can dispatch a ton of different gadgets that normally have to be dealt with via explosives, and she can also play tricks with traps. Not necessarily a must bring, but she enjoys a pretty decent competitive play rate, and I think it might rise in the next few months. If anything else, she's quite fun to play, and that's what matters. Support players will appreciate her gadget-focused gameplay, Flex players will appreciate her ability to do a little bit of everything, and entry players will like her weapons and 3-speed rating. If this video raised your Siege IQ, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Deuces. Down to one Pushing. Oh, the shorty! The shorty for the YouTube shorts? <laughs> Got him. Why do you have his bandit battery on? I don't know. I think he, I think he misclicked. Thank you, Fat Fingered.